Amy is not only featuring her local loves, but profiling local businesses that are considered to be legacies here in the Valley. Yeah, so she's kicking things off with a very special place to her. Uh, one that she knows well, that would be the Soretta Candy Company. And this morning she's out there. And by the way, your parents have been in uh, for a cooking segment. Could not be uh, nicer people. Amazing. I know, I'm so blessed. My family is just awesome overall wonderful happy people and i have to tell you there's about 80 of us running around this town so if you know estrada they're likely related to me uh, i want to show you this this is one thing around halloween that i always requested from my father it was one of those delicious caramel wrapped apples so soretta candy is turning 50 on halloween day and i want to take you through the candy factory a little bit here first of all we were standing right where the tours come through i gotta let you know that those tours are free to the, hub, the public at 10 and at 1. and then my uncles my aunts, my cousins, my dad, my grandma, my grandpa, uh, that's who built the Soretta Candy Company. So I'm with Jerry and Jonah right now, my uncles. Uh, Jerry, talk to me a little bit about a Southwestern Candy Company because you really put a different spin on things. Well, what being Southwest, we love pecan brittle because pecans are grown here. Uh, we have the orange gels being in the citrus belt. And then we have uh, some of the jalapeno-y stuff because uh, it's pretty Southwestern. So. Pretty cool stuff. And it's fun to maybe and pick up a jalapeno that's chocolate covered yeah, and uh, yeah. dare someone, maybe a dirty Santa gift or something like yeah. that. So we're taking a look at some uh, brittle right here. Jonah, what do we have here? That's a pecan brittle and that's a local pecan. The pecans are all sourced here in Arizona, so it's live local, buy local. And talk to me about 50 years for Sveta Candy Company. So this is our 50th year anniversary. So for this entire week, it's 50% off anything in our candy factory that you buy. So come get candy. And it's been really special, hasn't it? Oh yes, it's been a great 50 years for our whole family. No doubt about it, and for the community as well, because uh, they've always been involved with the tours for the kids, uh, with things that were happening with um, different fundraising events as well. And I want to talk to my cousin Tony, because Tony, he is the fourth generation candy maker here. And Tony, we both have a favorite piece of candy. Everyone loves the French mint, but we love Peanut butter pizzazz. Peanut butter pizzazz. And who's this right here? This is Grayson. Grayson. Hi, Grayson. How old? He's three. He turns three on Friday. So from three years old, uh, almost into the 90s for Grandma and Grandpa, uh, we've got it all covered. And we want to take a look at the peanut butter pizzazz line here. Uh, because what's going on here? I know that the peanut butter is made right here. Correct. We actually roast the peanuts here. We salt them. We grind them. Uh, we mill them and then we create the peanut butter and we chocolate and robe it. And as you're looking at that line, uh, you won't be able to tell, but I can tell you that this is very cold. This tray is very cold as they move under that chocolate drape, if you will. Why is that? This bottom is cold. Um, so they go over a bottomer to pick up chocolate on the bottom of the product. And that keeps the product airtight once it goes through the chocolate and, chocolate and rober, we're gonna put chocolate on the top. So by pre-doing the bottom, it just ensures that it is chocolate sealed all the way around. All the way around. And let's see if we go all the way around this way. We'll see delicious chocolate as well. But you know what? I want to spit around because I'm getting a wrap and see if I can grab my dad real quick because uh, Jim Serretta Jr., my pops, Daddy-O, come here. Uh, pretty big deal over here to me, of course, because I grew up with my father working at the candy company. And one of my favorite memories that I like to tell the people, Daddy-O, is that you are uh, the caramel guy, yep. as they say. And when you would come home, our dog just would attack the pant leg because there's caramel. Love to snack on the shoes and the, the pants, the drippings. You know what? That's absolutely true. You would think we would have fed our dog other things than just candy, <laughs> but that's what turned out. Yep. It worked out. So talk to me about 50 years. It's such an accomplishment for you, your brothers and sisters, and your mom and dad, and the family, 50 years. Uh, and people come to me and tell me how much the Soretta Candy Company has meant to them throughout their life. Uh, talk to me about this moment. You know what, it's almost hard to believe it's been 50 years. Uh, actually enjoyable for all of us, the family. Uh, it's just fun to work with your family. It's, it's been a ball. Uh, it's been involved with all of our employees for so long. It's been a joy to be in such a fun business and share that with uh, the Valley of the Sun. 
with all of our customers for 50 years. Life is what? Life is sweet. Life is sweet from the Serena Candy Company, turning 50 Thank years right here in the valley. Show my mom and dad, Vic, real quick. Wave. I thank you. My mom and sister, they're adorable as well. <laughs> Life is sweet. What better message to pass oh, along so to the generations? Right. Yeah, we love your family, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Life is sweet. Thank you. Thank you.